welcome to the 22nd of October. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's like sunny and frosty and all of that. Got our lily. Had to leave the house because the kitchen, my people, looks like a bomb's hit it. So I'm waiting Rico to finish off. And I'm gonna get back, clean my kitchen. I think I'm gonna try and lift my greenhouse as well. Kind of sort that out, see what's happened to the tomatoes. And yeah, that's what we're up to this Sunday and try and get a vlog up. <laughs> I'm actually feeling a wee bit under underdressed, so I've got a pole neck on, big thick one, fur lined leggings and my walking boots. And I feel as if everybody I'm meeting has got hats and ear muffs and all of that on. I don't think it's that cold yet. The sun's out nice and warm. So yeah. So I don't feel as if I'm feeling warm enough actually. Just nice. Come on Baba. Right, let's see how we're going to get this lifted up. Hmm. What's, what's going on in there? Right. I'm just going to try and lift this frame up, and I think if I try and do it, this will be great. a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> it truly was. Right, let's open it up, see what's going on. All right. One tomato down there. It's not that bad. I was really dreading this, people. I thought it was going to be muck everywhere. Right, let's see what we can do with this. And then we'll get on with all of this. Oh man, boxes are ready to go. He's just changing out this chef's gear. Whoa, that's a nice wee surprise. <laughs> Cause you're gonna. Oh, for a quote, was it? No, <laughs> <laughs> so he's out of his chef gear now. He's gonna go and help set up and serve and all of that. So he's changed. But I get left with all of this. Oh, <laughs> no, that's all right. It'll be all done by the time you come back. Spotless. Once I sorted out my greenhouse. Okay. <laughs> so. So my people. All this. All this. See these slugs get everywhere, man. Oh, it's just eating everything. all because something's in there eating them all.
Right, that's as good as it's going to get for now. Let's get this sorted. Right. And this needs to go in for a wash. What do we think? Right, so these I'm gonna empty in there or in the front because we could seem very kind of low on soil in the front garden. So I might empty these in the front garden um, because these are getting bent. There's holes in them, that one and that one. We'll just get them emptied in the front garden. But right now I need to go in there, clean the kitchen, but it's actually the perfect day for gardening. I wouldn't like Rico to feel as if I'm doing him out of a job, you know, the gardening. <laughs> I know this is crazy, but this is just going to get dug up, like I said. Da -da. Right, let's go in there, get this jumper off, because it's far too warm. I should really sweep that up, shouldn't I? No, I want to clean my kitchen first. I'm prioritising. If I were truly prioritising, I would do the garden because it's good weather for the garden. Right, I need to get the jumper off. Coming, Lily. We've walked you. We've sorted the greenhouse. Let's get this kitchen tidied and maybe go and get something for Sunday's dinner. I'm thinking some chops or something. This is it's too warm for this. Let's go into our very organised... Um, wardrobe and just get an old t-shirt out is what I'm thinking to clean the kitchen let's do love why not indeed there we go that's perfect attire for cleaning up quickly like my socks by the way all the way from Canada with my little pumpkins aren't they lovely so these are the leggings, the fur lined leggings, actually too warm for them in the house as well. But they'll do. They will do for now. Right, let's go yes, clean I was talking about the big long jumpers like the one I was wearing today. That's where they are. Keep them in here. Because they're long and they get longer if I hang them in here. It's like all my good blousies in here. And my other designer shoes. This is what happens now when we open the front door. The leaves blow in. Got my ears on, people. I got my ears on. Right, Alexa, shut up. Alexa, stop. Let's get this done. <laughs> first things first. We need the gloves on because we need to protect the nails. Although I have chipped one. I have chipped one. So at some point today, can we see that? At some point today, we'll be painting over them because we all know I cannot bear a chip. My people, right, let's get, no, let's get, I'll tell you, before the gloves, let's get a coffee on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean around the bit, I'm going to clean the basket, I'm going to clean all the, this, you know, because oh, I can't, I can't wash all this, I need to clean all of this first to my standards, so in here the basket and all that and wash this. And then I'll start washing things and start organising things. Look, I haven't even lit my mum's and dad's and Lulu's candle today. I mean, people. Oh, that's my crop of tomatoes. <laughs> Dear me. First round is washed, last pot is in there, dishwasher has been loaded to full capacity. This area, cupboard, legs, everything has been cleaned, legs, the lot. So I'm going to push the chairs back in so we know this area is done so I kind of work in sections. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a wipe down here to take all the 
crumbs away then spray leave it whilst I'm tidying everywhere else and yeah that's what I'm gonna do next This area is completely done. So I've just left the fryer there just now to see what Rico wants to do with it. I don't know if he he's going to use it for his dinner. I don't know, so I've just left it there. I've cleaned it up, left it there. I've got some stock there. I don't know what he wants to do with that. And that's some leftover stuffado. I'm letting that cool down in there. I've just put it in a plastic pot. And yes, yeah, so I've just set everything there so I could have cleaned everywhere else and that's us that's all shiny and clean <laughs> so this is how i like to work in sections now i'm going to do this section here so i'm going to move the bread over here i'm going to clean the chopping board move the bread here oh, oh rugby what is that okay it's done people just waiting for a washing load to finish and I'll get that on the stand once the floor dries I'm going to go and light Mama, Papa and Lulu's candle and then I'm going to break the fast. We are on <laughs> third top of the day so my t-shirt obviously from cleaning and cleaning cleaning and all of that is now dirty so i've just put on a lightweight jumper rico is home and what's he doing as soon as he comes home making a mess in the kitchen again <laughs> i promise you i'll make you what uh, tahini salad tahini uh, dip tahini well where i come from rico they call it dashi i'll do me <laughs> I don't know what they call it where you come from, but we certainly called it dashi. So, what are you doing? Tell us what you're doing. I'm crushing the garlic. Okay, so he's peeling crush. and crushing the garlic. He's marinating the chops. So we're having lamb chops. So, um, what else are we going to put in the... You're going to beat the tahini first? How, tell me, tell me, tell me, I'm tell me. put the paste in. Right, so this is the tahini paste. Right yep. here. And then okay. I'm going to add water to it. Cold ha water. Cold water. Yep. How much to how much? Do you just judge? I just judge. That's you just judge as people yeah. till it becomes. Add garlic to it, plenty mm. of garlic. Lots of garlic. I'm going to quite a lot. Olive oil. Not that olive oil. Good. I was I actually going to tell you off camera why you're using that no, as I'm a use cooking. That to marinate. Why? I've mixed it with a bit of mustard. Why do you not use the other virgin olive oil? No. Oh, see people, see people when I'm not looking what it does. Lemon juice and you need it. Right. And then you just add the obviously you're gonna you gonna crush the garlic. Yes. Do you finely chop it or do you I'm crush gonna, it? I'm gonna chop it. So you're gonna finely chop the garlic, put it through the paste once you've beaten it with water. Yes. I'm going to put lemon juice through it. Lemon juice, right, go through the procedure, right? I'm going to put the paste, start beating it very slowly. Right. Add the water to it so it starts dissolving. Right. It, it, it becomes looser, yeah? Yes. And add the lemon juice to it and yeah. the olive oil, uh -huh. garlic, cumin, and some chopped pine, the chopped parsley. And that's how you can make stick in it. And by the way, he adds plenty of salt as well because it's always very salty. You missed that one out, Rico. Yes, and I'm things a moderate amount of salt. Yeah, so. and things have got saltier since he started using this. I'm looking forward to some some bread with the dishy. Okay, you're trying to choose a wine. Yes, I'm going to have this. Peony. What's that? What you have? Can you show us the label? Yes. The camera's not playing with us. Here we go. That's what Rico's going to enjoy today. Okay. Well deserved. It's been working hard. Anyway, I've, this is my bread. So we're gonna have the dashi with some nice bread. And uh, at the moment, 
I'm going to get myself a glass. Do you know what I said to Luke? Luke said the other day, oh, I need I need glasses. I said to him, I'll give you this set that I've got. He says, no, under no circumstances will he take these glasses. He says he absolutely hates them. He says something about them not being even at the bottom. I mean, people, where does he no, get he it from? That's well, not in the centre. He said that the stem is not in the centre. Anyway, he didn't want them. I says to him, it's the perfect glass. You can use it for water. You can use it for gin. You can use it for wine. You can basically use them for anything. And he said, no. 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 <laughs> so, no. Right, okay. So, I'm just going to have a wee glass of Pinot Grigio just now. Finish off this video. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you I painted my nails. I'll show you what I painted them with. I just went over the gel. It was to cover up that one. And it looks now like um, Rouge Noir. Yesterday when I was cleaning out the cupboards, I came across my Michael Kors dress, which I absolutely love. And I've put it on the door there. So I don't forget about it. I'm, I need to hand wash it. So that's why it's hanging on that door. Just so uh, I don't forget about it. Right, let's sit down, do a, maybe a question because people, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm really tired now. So we'll do a question, we'll close up the vlog and all of that, but let me put you on the stand first. Okay, welcome to the boudoir, my people. Right, I was actually on Amazon as well looking for a witch's cape or something of that sort. Um, don't even ask why. <laughs> don't even ask. Susan, it's all down to Susan. Susan wants us to dress up as witches. I did say to Susan that's not dressing up for her. <laughs> so anyway, so I was in B&M and I, and I took a picture of a witch's outfit and I sent it to her and she's like oh very nice here's the one I'm getting from Amazon I'm like well I'm not getting that scudda out of um I think it was um oh people this girl's diet home bargains home bargains if you're wearing that so I don't know I'll probably wear a pair so what I'm thinking I'm just gonna wear my spanks with a cape and then my usual eye stuff that I normally wear but anyway Let's, let's get some enthusiasm in the chat. This is what I put on. It's a Chanel. I put it over the red. And initially when I put it on, because the sun was shining through, I didn't think it covered it. But actually really did cover it well. So this is like a deep purple. Can we see it? It's actually coming up true to colour. Absolutely love it. And when I put it over the red gel, that's what happened. So what colour is this? Does it even say, it doesn't say my people. Oh, it does say violet piquat, pink, pink, quant, pink, oh, I don't know. Uh, it's number six to two. It's probably a limited edition and all of that stuff. Okay, so cheers. Happy Sunday. Been a busy one for me for a Sunday. But I didn't go to the gym today. So, why did I not go? Oh, that's right. I didn't book on early enough and um, I was on the waiting list, so I didn't bother. And because we're, we're in a kind of temporary studio just now, a small one, I know there was no point going and hoping that I'd be able to squeeze in because there's, there's absolutely no chance. We're, it's really tight as it is. So I actually got up quite late this morning and then you so saw I took Lily a walk and all of that. Okay, I'd also like to add here, thank you very much for all your suggestions for cruises. Very, very helpful indeed. I'm taking note of all of them. So thank you so much. Um, Leslie Ben789 also asked me if we have trick, trick or treaters at the door yes we do oh my goodness when the kids were young ow, we used to have so many it went on all night long honestly so many so many George is like that just now where he stays 
there's a lot of young children about so they get a lot of people at the door um, I think around about here people tend to go where they know there's children but because I've got a Halloween wreath up on my door and things like that people tend to knock at my door so I've always got a bowl of sweets ready I don't do bags we used to when the boys were younger we'd make up bags and put things in them and just hand them Halloween bags as they came in I used to have them all made up I don't do that anymore I can't be bothered doing that so I just have my Halloween bowl that I've got sitting downstairs in the playroom fill that up with sweets they come to the door and I just tell them dig in basically just take what you want just dig in take a handful and cheery on them. they tell us their joke and all of that at the door so yes i do get them i do get them and i go to the door with my hairband on and all of that thank you for your question leslie right i'm gonna go on to one of uh it's only warpaint's questions as well and she said like your least favorite is this if i got it here let me see and she asked you know your least least favorite shoe bag item of clothing so that was the question so thanks again uh, it's only wall paint okay <laughs> i kind of thought a bag i can't really think of a bag and then i just googled um designer bags and oh my, can you hear the does she going on down says oh this pigeon bag appeared i think it was on letter portal or something like that i wrote it down what was it jw anderson pigeon clutch bag i couldn't i don't think i could carry that even if you paid me it's awful like to carry a pigeon ooh, i'm not a fan of birds i don't like birds flying over me and all of that that, 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 that i don't i don't like that like oh no so the thought of carrying a pigeon bag i couldn't people i think it's ugly it's horrible uh, to me it's like carrying a dead bird i couldn't do it yes i have worn real fur in the past and all of that and i it's actually still over my fox, fox fur but i just the, it looks like a pigeon i couldn't no 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 so that's it so that's easy enough for me because honestly at the beginning i was like oh, I don't, is, is it actually do you know the, the there's a Right, so that's one that's just horrible, ugly, right? And there's two popular bags that I've never been a fan of. So the Dio Book Tote is one. I just couldn't understand that bag because it was such a big bag and there was no long strap. So it was just, to me, it just reminded me very much of a shopper and I, I couldn't understand the hype that went with that bag at all. And the second one was the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. Is that it says, it says tote bag on the front? I just couldn't understand the height with that either. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. But anyway, it's whatever floats your boat. So bag wise, it's that. Item of clothing is tracksuits, joggy bottoms and all of that. I don't, to me... I, well, I'm, I don't like them at all. I'm not a fan of them at all. Hold on. My cameras were going off. My cameras were going off and Lily's barking, but I don't see anything. I'm not opening up cameras anyway. So um, I don't like tracksuit bottoms at all. Like for me, their tracksuit bottoms are made to be worn over gym gear and things like that. I wouldn't wear joggy bottoms to go out in. No, I don't know, I don't. But years and years and years and years and years. I can't years. really say. I don't know. Years and years and years and years and years ago, I did own a, what were they called? Shell suits? It was bright pink. It was horrendous. It looked awful on me. It was absolutely disgusting. But everybody was, were they called shell suits? Everybody was wearing them. Honestly why when, when i think back and then I, I i think i passed it on to my mum my mum loved it she wore it as well it, honestly <laughs> so track suits i'm not a fan of track suits i'm in gym gear an awful lot so i like to be when i'm dressing up to go out 
even to the shops I, well I mean a lot of the time I am in my gym gear when I go like shopping and quickly but when I'm changing out of my gym gear I don't want to change into something that looks like what I would wear to the gym but in saying that Spanx can kind of look like my leggings as well so I like to add a boot with my Spanx and things like that you wouldn't see me wearing my Spanx with trainers or anything like that I'll dress my Spanx up otherwise I feel as if I'm in gym gear so tracksuits is the item of clothing shoes this one I did not have to think about at all and it was it was oh the Gucci Princetown slippers I think they were called and they are to me they look like slippers so people wearing them with shoes I just didn't understand it I did not I, I, they're ugly I like the sliders without the fur but see the ones with the fur and I know <laughs> a lot of my friends got them but I just I couldn't and I think like they're like 800 pounds for these and they are slippers they're nothing more than slippers to me they are not a shoe people wearing them out and about and then the fur would get dirty the fur i mean what kind of weather would you wear them in that's what i don't understand either because they're fur lined which indicates it's a winter shoe but it's open at the back oh i've got the sneezes people i've got the sneezes um i've got the sneezes right let's go and see if that dashi is ready and then I'm going to have to call it a day for today. Remember, questions, ideas in the comments. I'm really struggling now, like really struggling for content to make. Tomorrow's Monday and all I do on a Monday is clean downstairs. And am I going to vlog? What am I going to vlog? So you have to, you have to put me lots and lots of questions so I can talk about tomorrow because tomorrow I clean. <laughs> I clean, that's all I do. Oh my goodness me. Oh. I can still hear the zzzz downstairs. Okay. The dashi is ready. Should we do a taste test? I'll taste test. No. Ah, still to draw the flavours. No, I love, I love. See, instead of mincing the garlic, and he chops it finely, so you get a wee crunch of the garlic. Mmm. So all that leaves for me to say is, I will link a video here, here, and a knee right here, just in case you're not already subscribed. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.